wonder if you're applying your skincare products in the right order, whether you want a simple three-step routine for the morning, or you have time for a full 10-step regimen at night, the order in which you apply your products matters a lot. Why? Because there isn't much point in having a skincare routine if your products don't get a chance to penetrate in your skin. I'm your pharmacist Sidra, and in this video, we will learn how to layer your skincare products for maximum impact, what steps you can skip, and what your skincare should look like in the morning and evening, so stay tuned. Skincare layering isn't just about slapping on products randomly. It's all about applying your products in the right order to ensure they penetrate the skin effectively and work synergistically to address your specific skin concern. Think of it like building a multi-layer cake because in a multi-layer cake, what happens? Each layer serves a unique purpose, right? And each layer contributes to the overall appearance of the cake or taste and make it a masterpiece. So what's the science behind your skincare? Your skin is like a sponge which is ready to soak all the goodness you throw its way. But here's the catch. Not all products are created equal. Thick products like creams, oils and balms seal your skin barriers to lock in the moisture. If you try to apply thin serums over thicker products, they will not be able to penetrate your skin. Similarly, the timing of your skincare routine also affects your complexion. Most people don't wait enough time for the serums to absorb fully into their skin. If that's the case, then you miss out on several skin benefits and a lot of money by rushing your product application. Knowing your skin type is also very important because this will help you come up with the best routine to achieve that glowy, hydrated look. So what's the secret to layer skincare products to achieve maximum benefits? Well, it's simple. Start with the thinnest consistency and work your way up to thickest. This helps to make sure that each of your product absorbs into your skin. Now, layering skincare allows you to maximize the benefits of active ingredients by following their consistency. For example, Serums which have thinner consistency would be applied to the skin before a thicker product like a cream. Just remember that you don't need a complicated skincare routine to help you reach, to help you reach your skincare goals. In fact, simple skincare routine is just as good. So don't go overboard with your skincare. All right, now that we've covered the basics, let's talk about the process of layering skincare products step by step. So first things first, always start with a clean canvas. Begin your skincare routine by thoroughly cleansing your face to remove any dirt, oil, or any impurities that may have accumulated throughout the day. Opt for a gentle cleanser, which is suitable for your skin type, whether you have oily, dry, or sensitive skin. Just go with the one which is best suitable for your skin type. Next up is a use of toner if needed. Now this step is not essential, but if you're using it, more power to you. Now, have you ever wondered that, do I really need a facial toner? Well, the short answer is no. I consider toners an unnecessary step in the skincare routine. Now, that being said, certain toners can bring the element of chemical exfoliation into your skincare routine. So if you are looking for exfoliation, it's usually okay to use toner for this purpose. Just don't feel like you really need to use this or don't feel like this is the only option for you to fight acne or excess oiliness. Toner can also help to rebalance the skin's pH level and prep it for the subsequent steps in your skincare. But just be sure to choose a toner that suits your skin needs, whether it's a hydrating, 
uh, exfoliating or pore refining. Just whatever kind you're using, just simply apply a small amount on a cotton pad and gently swipe it across your face. Just make sure to avoid the delicate eye area. Now, step three is the fun part, which is treating your skin to targeted solutions for your specific skin concerns. That is where you'll incorporate serums, essences, and treatments packed with powerful ingredients like vitamin C, hyaluronic acid, and retinol. Just remember to apply these products from thinnest to thickest consistency. And with most serums, you should wait between, I wanna say like 60 to 90 seconds before you apply another skincare product on top. Because what happens is this allows each of the ingredient to fully absorb into your skin before moving on to the next one. Also keep in mind that certain serums are intended for different times of the day. For example, uh, you can get the most benefits from vitamin C serum by applying it in the morning because it helps boost sun protection and it also neutralizes free radicals that contribute to that photo aging effect of your face. It can also have a brightening effect. It can um, reduce the dark spots. So when you pair it with sunscreen, it's a magical ingredient. It can help to protect your skin from sun damage. Step four is moisturization. Now, hydration is key to healthy glowing skin. Moisturization is essential. Without moisturization, your skin will likely become dry and damaged. Now, many moisturizers fight against aging and wrinkles, fine lines, and um, they help with dry skin. Now, even if you are in your 20s or 30s, doesn't matter. Moisturization is essential for maintaining a healthy skin barrier. Just remember to choose a moisturizer which is suitable for your skin type, like I said before, whether it's a lightweight or gel-based moisture moisturizer or something for oily skin or it's rich or creamy for gentle dry skin i'm sorry just be sure that you focus on the needs of your skin when you're using moisturizer just remember to gently massage it into your skin using upward and circular motion that folk and also focusing on the areas that tend to be drier and more prone to fine lines and wrinkles. Next step is apply eye cream. Eye cream works to firm and smooth the skin around your eyes. As you age, these areas tend to show damage and wrinkles first compared to the rest of your face. Using an eye cream could be great uh, because it would help address those issues. Uh, I want to recommend that use it at nighttime before you go to bed, which would combat uh, signs of aging and replenish the essential moisture. After serums and moisturizer, use face oils because they are typically much more thicker than your serums and creams. For this reason, always apply all of your oils on your face and lip at the very end of your skincare routine um, because they take the longest to absorb in your skin. Um, so no other products would work if you layer anything on top of them because they're forming a barrier on your skin and they're locking everything. So face oils are not really necessary, but they are certainly good because they can help uh, retain your dry skin uh, moisture and they can also help boost the healthy fatty acids. But remember, not all oils have the same impact. You want to avoid uh, comedogenic oils, which are pore clogging, um, such as your coconut oil. Uh, so if you use such oil on your face, it can contribute to acne, so you want to stay away from it. Instead, consider using a jojoba oil or rose, rose hip oil, which are lighter and they do not clog your pore or cause any harmful buildup. Just remember to use a gentle cleanser the morning after applying face oil to give your skin that fresh reset. Last but not the least, uh, don't forget to use sunscreen if it's morning. Wear SPF 30 or 50. Uh, every single day, sunscreen is your skin's best friend against harmful UV rays, premature skin aging, and skin cancer. Opt for a broad spectrum SPF. Um, 
apply it generously to all the exposed area of skin. Be sure to use it at least 15 to 30 minutes before you expose uh, to sun and also remember to reapply it every two to three hours while you're spending time in sun. Just remember your skincare routine will look different in the morning versus at night but it will generally follow the same order, which is lighter products first and th thicker products at the end. Your morning skincare routine can be as simple as washing your face, applying a moisturizer and putting on a sunscreen. You don't need your skincare routine to be very complicated. But if you want to try out more complicated skincare routine, that's fine too. Just know that more does not necessarily equal better. As a rule of thumb, I recommend a three-step skincare routine in the morning, which is a cleanser, moisturizer, and sunscreen. And for evening, opt for a cleanser, treatment, and a moisturizer. You don't necessarily need to use additional products. You can use a targeted treatment or maybe layer products to address specific skin issues. Um, there are no hard and fast rules about how many skincare products you can layer, but it's important that you don't necessarily go from zero to 100. That's not practical and that's not good for your skin. Uh, new products that contain active ingredients or exfoliants should be added to your routine gradually. You also uh, likely don't want to use all of your products every single day and all at once. For instance, when you start uh, with an exfoliant like glycolic acid or lactic acid or salicylic acid, you may want to skip your other active ingredients for that day and in general, whenever you're in doubt, always ask your dermatologist or an expert for your specific skincare routine. And finally, remember that everyone's skin is different. What works for one person might not work for your skin. A person with oily skin likely wouldn't have the same skincare routine as a person with dry skin. Also, the best skincare routine for your unique skin type is the routine that you want to stick with. Skincare is all about playing the long game, especially if you're dealing with a skin concern like you have acne, you want to be patient. Just stick with your skincare routine. Uh, that's the key. You don't want to bounce around from one product to other um, and see which one works the best. You Maybe one product will work best for you if you stick with it for a couple of weeks. So um, be consistent and that's it for today's video. I hope you found it helpful and now you know how to layer your skincare products. If you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments and I'll see you next time. Until then, happy layering. Hey guys, if you found value in this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family and remember to subscribe to stay up to date on new weekly videos.